I mean, it's true, it has. And it's funny, my show Brockmire has made a lot of predictions, especially season four that came true this year as we projected society 12 years into the future. So maybe it's me, maybe it shows I'm in. But, um, you know, I, I think there is one common theme, like Brockmire and The Simpsons are both social commentary shows, which tend to make predictions. The Simpsons has done 700 episodes. I'm sure if you tallied them up, the things they predicted that didn't come true would be about 5,809. And the things that did are maybe 17. So their percentage is actually quite low. It's another one of those, uh, maybe it's a bigger example, but of a some greater than the parts uh, situation. Uh, you had the sensibility of Matt Groening, who was the cartoonist who created it, and you had James L. Brooks, who was a genius. They're both kind of equal geniuses that had a, a vision that married at just the right time, uh, Jim with television scripts and, and, and seeing a world, and Matt with a sort of alternate point of view that has become a very mainstream point of view. Um, and some other people along the way, and they had the good sense to hire a bunch of like young writers that had never been given a voice before, that all of a sudden were like let loose. And Jim was so James L. Brooks was so established in television that he was able to keep network notes we didn't ever deal with. Like they'd give us notes, he'd be like, "Nope, we're gonna do what we want to do over here." So the whole thing was a huge gamble. And it was one of those that, you know, it was a big swing that connected. And, uh, but I still can't account for what's kept it so, you know, popular over the years. It just became this, this icon after a while. One, two, three. Woo! All right. Thank you guys.